Hello everybody, this is Mr. Ken. I'm here with a very special reading. This is for the full moon on April 19th, which is Friday. And it's actually supposed to occur somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m. on the East Coast. That's considered the 19th. Some people may want to look at it as being tonight. Okay, so I'm going to do this special full moon reading. And in the process, I am also going to offer full moon readings to order. All you have to do is send me an email. An email. The email address is listed in the description box below. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with Oracle Cards. Okay, um, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, but the new moon, the full moon in Libra is about release. Um, Libra is about balance, bringing your life back into balance and paying karmic debts. Okay, the the equivalent to the Libra, the tarot is the justice card, so it's doing the right thing, paying karmic debts. You know, releasing karmic contracts, starting a new cycle. This is what the full moon in Libra is about. And we have our first card here. Source of, it's like the inner sea. This is about meditation. It's about coming, making yourself whole again. Okay, and it's also about resting, putting something to rest is what I'm feeling with this card. It's time to put something to rest. And there are periods in our life when we need to withdraw, we need to rest, sleep, meditate, and give ourselves time to reevaluate. So this is really a period of reevaluating your life. It's about releasing those karmic, or karmic contracts. And you need to take a look at what you're currently doing. And how busy has your life been. Um, give yourself time to stop and reflect. Take time out to do what you choose to do. Step outside of the rat race for a day or even a few hours. If this is not possible, then just do some breathing exercises. You need to nurture yourself. It is important at this time that you do that. And you have to stop worrying about what other people's problems are and focusing on other people. You have to focus on yourself. If you feed this, if, if you feel that this is an indulgent task, then think again. All this moment, or at this moment, the most important person is you. There is no need to answer other people's demands, and you must put boundaries in place before you burn yourself out. Okay, so you're taking on so many other people's tasks and so many other people's issues. You're worried about the other person and not yourself, and it's time that you take care of yourself. Okay, you have to shed everybody else's issues. Okay, and this is, uh, and I'm going to pull a power of surrender card and this is going to be about what it is that we need to surrender what energy do we need to surrender at this time I'm not sure who this is going to be for but let's see power of surrender resentment okay it's you have somebody's harboring resentments 
And with accordance to this card, you're worried about other people. You, you, know, you are probably harboring some resentment because you go and do things for other people, but, do, but it's not reciprocated. So that's why you need to take care of yourself. And holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others of their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. So you need to let it go. You need to let go of the resentment. You need to let go of the hurt. You need to let go of this, um, whatever karmic contract that you are currently engaging in. Okay. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to come up and say. What messages do you have for us for this full moon in Libra, please? What message do you have for us for this full moon in Libra? Full moon in Libra. What messages do you have for full moon and Libra, please? We have the five of wands in reverse. Time to give up the struggle. Time to give up all the pettiness. This is pettiness. It's time to give it up. This is small arguments, small things that don't mount to a hill of beans, okay? But these small things, these small arguments, these small issues, they can grow and fester into something much larger. And then it can eat at you. So this could also be representative of the resentments. You're, you're resentful, argumentative. It's time to release this. It's time to release the pettiness. Okay? King of Wands, this is somebody who has lost their ambition. This is somebody who is just sitting on their ass doing nothing. Has no drive, has no ambition. So it's time to give up the pettiness. It's time to get your ass in gear. Why are you sitting on your ass? Why aren't you out doing something? Why aren't you following your dreams? Okay? Why is there that self-doubt? This is somebody who's grown cold, somebody who's lost their passion. Another fire. This is, uh, I'll tell you what, I don't know where this is going, but this is so full of fire. Knight of Wands. A time for change. Get off your ass and start changing. Start moving things. Things are not going to fucking change in your life until you make that move. you got to get off your ass. Get on that horse. Grab your wand and charge. Okay. This could be changing home, changing residence, changing jobs. Whatever the problem is, it's time to shed all this pettiness and the resentments. Take, start taking time for yourself. Do something for yourself. Get out of this poor me moment. Get that fire lit again. Get on that horse and go after your passions. 
that we have the chariot in reverse. Chariot in reverse is somebody who has given up control, who has no control in their life. This is, again, no drive. We have two cards here that are saying somebody has no drive. Somebody's sitting still. That spirit's calling you to get on that horse. Because change. Nights are about change. Change starts with you. You have to change that spirit within you. You have to light that fire. Nobody else is going to hold your hand and do it for you. It's up to you. Death. Reversed. Transformation. Somebody is resisting end, an ending. Somebody is trying to hold back and trying to hold on to some bullshit here. Okay? It's time to release it. Somebody's trying to hold on to the pettiness. The, I said before, this is, re, reminds me of the resentments that came up here in this card. It's surrendering the resentments. Somebody's holding on to it. All that it's going to do is fester and spread. Okay? Spirit is trying to bring about a transformation in your life. Okay? And you have to bring that out. As I said, nobody else can do this for you. The devil, come on. Okay. You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. This, it's toxic. What did it, that card say? It said that resentment is poison. Resentment poisons you. Okay? Toxic. Toxic substance. Poison. Being caught up in something that's unhealthy. It's like your mind is poisoned right now. And you lost that fire. You allowed somebody to come in and steal that fire, steal your ambition, steal that passion. And you're still trying to hold on to it despite all the pettiness. You know it's time to let it go. Let go of the resentment. Let go of the pettiness. Let the transformation happen. Stop fighting it. You're resisting and trying to hold on. That's what these two cards are saying. You are holding on to something and not closing the door. Okay, things start, improvement and change starts with you. You got to start making better decisions. Four of Wands, stability, building a firm foundation. The doves are a symbol of peace and harmony. So it is time that you get on that horse and go after what you desire. What do you want? You, somebody wants that peace and harmony in their home. Tranquility in their home. In their life. In their relationships. But they got to get rid of the pettiness. They got to get rid of the toxicity. The, what's poisoning their minds they have to let the transformation occur. You want to transform from the pettiness and the resentment and the hurt into tranquility, calm, peace. You got to get your drive back. You got to get on that horse. You got to stop stop sitting on your ass. Okay? Because as I said, nobody's going to do this for you. You have to do this for yourself. You have to finally make up your freaking mind. I need change. I'm ready for change. Nothing's going to change until you let it. We have two cups in reverse. Along with the seven of pentacles. They came out together. There is no growth in a relationship. I'm sorry.
I wish I would not have watched Soul Source's reading first. But she totally exposed the falseness of Twin Flames. Okay. Shattered the whole concept. And this is, the, as soon as I got this card, that's the first thing I saw. Okay. Toxicity, lies, and illusions. An illusion about a relationship. There, this relationship is turned upside down. Because there is no growth. Upright, I could see you waiting on the harvest to come in. It's very slow moving, slow moving energy. It, this upright, it says patience. Reverse says there's no growth. It's stalled, stopped. So there is no growth in this relationship. You know it. There's a lot of pettiness going on. You're sitting on your ass. You're doing nothing. You've lost your ambition. You lost your drive. You lost your drive. You're not charging. You're not moving forward. You're, you're freaking stuck. Somebody is stuck in a routine. Okay. I'm being told that by spirit. Somebody is stuck in a routine. And how do you break a routine? You break those ties that bind you to it. Six of Cups, son of a bitch. Something from the freaking past. This could be children, childhood memories. Somebody's very nostalgic. Okay? So this relationship was based on nostalgia. And King of Swords, it's time to start thinking logically about this. Get your heart out of it for a moment. Get your emotions out of it analyze your life whoever I'm talking to analyze it because you're not thinking logically you need to analyze this and you know you're stuck queen of wands come on this could be a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries sun rising moon Venus You want that spark back in your home. You want that peace and happiness. Somebody, you need to go get on that horse and make the changes yourself. The Queen of Wands is somebody that goes after what she wants. She knows her worth. She knows her value. She is very confident, very ambitious. She's got fucking drive. She's sensual. So you need to move from the king of wands in reverse where you're sitting on your ass and you're depressed and not doing anything to getting that fire. You know, going after what you love, going after what you want. But you've got to drop and let go of the freaking past. You have to let go of the past. You have to. In order to progress and move forward, you have to let go of this relationship that has no growth, that was built on a false foundation, and because it was based on memories of the past, people change. Okay? People do change. But there are certain traits to a person that doesn't. It didn't work in the past. Why is it going to work now? Okay? You have to think things logically. Look at both sides. Look at wh what you were expecting and where you're at. You desire that happy home. You, you want peace. These are the peace doves. And they're a couple. They're a pair. You want somebody that you could get along with. You want somebody to love. And you want somebody that brings peace to your life. Instead of this person, there's, there's, there's control issues, okay? You don't want to be controlled. Why is it over, on this column I always get two cards? 
we have the Page of Cups and we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a no-win situation. It's ego. I don't see any love communication. This is all false. This is a false love. Upright is communicating amore, loves of, uh, messages of amore, admiration. Reverse could be the opposite. There's either very, I think that there's some toxic, hateful messages going back and forth between you and another person. Some really hateful comments, resentful comments. Okay, resentful comments, hateful comments. And the I love yous, they're false. I'm sorry, they're false. Because this whole thing was based on a memory of the past. And ego is stopping you from going forward. Because I can hear it now, somebody says, I can't fail again. I'm not going to fail at this. I'm going to give it my all. That's fine and dandy if you're willing to give it your all. But are they? Seriously, ask yourself, are they giving their all? Doesn't look like it. I think you're getting false messages of love. It's not really love. Okay? There's a lot of conflicts. And you're not where you want to be. That's plain and clear. You are not where you want to be. And you're the only one that can bring yourself to where you want to be. Okay. I am going to get some cards from my confirmation deck here. And then I'm going to summarize. Four of Cups. Release the old and look in a new path. Stop being accepting. And thinking, well, this is what it's handed me. I've got to accept it. No, you don't have to accept that cup. You can refuse it. Okay. This is somebody who's definitely not happy in a situation. You don't have to accept what's being dealt to you. You really don't. Seven of Cups reversed. It's time to get your head out of the clouds and start thinking clearly. Okay. If somebody... Time to get out of the dream world. Somebody's in fantasy land or dream land. Okay. Fantasy land is over. And we've got the freaking devil again. How... And it, I tell you what. This thing just... Flew right out of the deck. It did one of, the, you saw it, it did one of these things out of the center of the deck. We have the devil twice. Really? What is this saying to you? Let Go of something that's not serving you. You are so freaking bound up. It's something that, with the devil twice, this is something, su this is more toxic than what I thought. This is something super toxic. So much deceit. So many lies. Okay? It's time, you don't have, it's time you get yourself out of fantasy land. Get, stop, get out of the dream world and come back to reality. Get your head out of the clouds. You don't have to accept this cup. It's time to release. If you wanted to, you could break those chains. You could break this karmic contract. You have a karmic contract with somebody. And you can break it. Stop letting ego get in the way. Eight of Wands. Travel, movement, swift action this is some, this could also be communications coming in swiftly it's time this is saying it's time to take action this is says take action fast push your ego aside 
Time to humble yourself. Push your ego aside. Because this car keeps staring at me. You're not going to have that peaceful relationship. There's the two doves again. I'm showing this again. The foundation. It's the stability and balance. I'm noticing here that there's one dove larger than the other. That's because there's one person who does, who is the leader. I'm not saying control. Not at all. I'm saying the decision maker, the leader. Yes, you guys discuss things and stuff as a couple. But one, you can't have too many chiefs in the tribe. You can't have any too, too many chefs in the kitchen. You have to have the sous chef too, who helps out. You help each other. I'm just saying. But this is not going to happen till you let go of this. There's definitely something toxic. Something that you're very nostalgic about. Your ego standing in the way. You know that there's the, the feelings and emotions of love are fake. They're not real. Right now, it's the time to take swift action. So basically, what this new moon in Libra is about is breaking this karmic contract. Bringing balance back into your home. Getting rid of the toxic energy. The toxic interactions. Toxic people. Full moon is about shedding and getting rid of stuff. Being in Libra. It's getting, it's making stuff right. It's getting rid and cutting karmic contracts. This is a very emotional, 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 and very powerful full moon. Full moons are about shedding, and it's time to shed an old karmic contract. Cut it. Done. But I need closure. No, you don't. What's this closure bringing you? Heartache? Pain, suffering, unhappiness, dissatisfaction. This Does that person look happy under that tree? Absolutely not. His arms are crossed. He's pissed. Okay. So somebody's pissed off. Somebody's not happy. And now's the time to make the changes. Okay, just saying. Okay, so this is the full moon reading in Libra. This will be also considered the daily reading for tomorrow because this energy is actually starting tonight, flowing into tomorrow, and this energy will carry on even into Saturday. So for the next three days, this is the energy that's going to be around. I, my head is buzzing. I've got goosebumps. I'm, I'm lightheaded. Because this is spirit talking. <coughs> you need to get rid of this. <coughs> this is your goal. <coughs> this is what you desire. Get off your ass. Get on that horse. Get that ambition, that fire back, that enthusiasm. The self-confidence, somebody's self-confidence is lacking, get that self-confidence back and do what you have to do to bring in your balance and your harmony in your home and in your life and in your relationships. <coughs> okay, if you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. If you would like a full moon reading from now through Saturday, $25, which is a $10 discount on what my normal normal full readings are. $25 will get you a reading specific to your situation in your life. What do you need to do? What do you need to change? Okay, just send me an email below. 
I will respond. I'll send you an invoice through PayPal and I'll get your reading done. Okay, I thank you for watching and you have a good day.